It's hard to believe that we have snow and freezing cold temperatures in just the beginning of November, but the one positive that comes with all this ice wine. We've been picking for the last two nights. Uh, we're very fortunate. I mean, this is probably the earliest outbreak, like normal outbreak of cold we've seen it in, in probably, I don't know, I think the last one was 1993 when we had October 12th. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. It, we went from it's very plus. Early. Yeah, so that, that day we went from plus 15 one day to minus 10 the next day, but this is really early. So, yeah, so th these grapes actually we just picked last night here on our own vineyard. There's a, a Zweigel that are nice and frozen. Mm. Mm. You know, traditionally in the Okanagan, we don't normally see snow till around Christmas time, but um, things are changing. <laughs> so <laughs> we just literally just finished picking grapes like for table wine, yeah. like, and, and <laughs> barely made it before the freeze hit. Wow. Yeah, so this is really, really early. Normally we're picking up till the 18th of November uh, for Syrah and Cap Sauv and Cap Franc. And uh, yeah, now we're picking ice wine. <laughs> so ice wine, of course, has ice in the name. So the biggest thing with it is that uh, it needs to get to minus eight or colder uh, before we go out and pick. Uh, a lot of the times what it means is we'll get to minus 11 just to make sure everything's frozen. All the water inside the grape freezes and you're left with a super, super concentrated juice. You do get about 10% of the yields that you do from uh, regular table wine. So normally we pick in the middle of the night. We had crews out there uh, late last night and early in the morning, but we were cozy in bed. They were out uh, picking for us. Uh, once we get it in, we get it into uh, our presses where we have to put a lot of extra pressure onto the grapes to make sure we get that juice. Um, normal press cycle takes a couple hours to do an ice wine press. Sometimes it takes up to 48 hours just to slowly press it all out and to get all that juice out. Um, so it's a lot more work. It's really, really cold. Um, you know, it's not uncommon to be out here when it's minus 15 and you need to make sure that that fruit gets processed as quickly as we can. Um, but what we get is this beautiful, beautiful juice uh, that we can turn into some amazing wine that uh, we're very fortunate here in the Okanagan to get. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Earhart at Summerhill Pyramid Winery. Get Castanet's mobile app, available now on iTunes and Google Play.